So <clears throat> today's project is um, 3D printed little bump and go robots and basically I guess what I was going to showcase was these uh, small bump and go drives that you can buy online and then you can just 3D print a frame to uh, hold them and do whatever you want to do. This robot is just an example of what I wanted to do. I wanted to have uh, not only the, the bump and go drive on the bottom, but I wanted the moving gun and clicking sound. This was the prototype one in gray. This was the uh, final design. In my case, I put the battery in the back. Put like that. I have a little housing with a small magnet. Sticks onto the battery, holds it in. Put the power switch up there. But uh, really the point of this whole thing was in case you wanted to build your own, I thought I would just show you some uh, images of what I did. It can help you do your own. But maybe before I show these pictures, why don't we take a look at where you can get them. So for example, this is off eBay and it's Electric automatic obstacle avoidance robot scientific blah 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 blah. And there's the basic unit right there. The cup and the rear wheels and that crap you don't need. Well, unless you want them. But they come from Hong Kong, so it's going to be a, a long delivery. You know, anywhere from six to eight weeks. And uh, besides the one on eBay there, you can go on AliExpress and find the same unit for sale for less money. But again, you've got the six to eight week lead time. And here they're uh, calling it a learning educational, again, electric, automatic, obstacle avoidance. Those seem to be the key words that they're using for the bump and go drive. And, and of course, if you don't want to buy a pre-made bump and go drive, I have put up uh, videos on YouTube showing you how to actually 3D print and make a bump and go drive, the whole thing. And the files for uh, that are up on Thingiverse if you go to my channel and pull up this one. Let's see, what did I title it? 3D Print the Mist Reaction Bump and Go Non-Stop Robot. So, you can do it either way. But, I'll show you what I did for what I was into. First, I designed a lower frame that would match up with the mounting holes in the bump and go drive. So I could screw it on and a place to add my rear wheels and, a, and an axle across there. That's what the bump and go drive looks like when it was screwed onto the base that I had designed to hold it. Here it is from the back side. You can see all the wheels just get pinned in. This is all 3D printed parts. Here it is from the bottom. It's another angle view. And the body that I designed, I made, just made enough room for a, a pre-made holder that holds two AA batteries. And that's the front of it. I designed the top piece. The window frame, I'm going to put a switch in the back. Like so. And then the chrome frame, which is 3D printed, just gets glued on. Then on the top of that bump and go drive there was a shaft sticking up. I put this coupler on mine because I wanted to take the shaft that's running the bump and go. I wanted to use that to run my gun clicker and, and movement. But I didn't want it fixed. Uh... Yeah, let's go back to that. So the whole point is the shaft that goes in here will have a square 3D printed part on it. And that allows you to keep the bottom and the top separate so I can build all the mechanics up in the upper part and just slip it down in when I'm ready to assemble. And so this is the uh, lower body attached to the lower base part. So now you're looking down into it. These are the wires from the battery pack. There's that coupler I was talking about. And the upper part with some arms screwed on. Just did a color a filament swap to do a color switch for the rivets and that stuff. Made up a little head where I could stick some LEDs and parts on there. And just glued the head on. Brought the LED wires down and out. These parts are going to form the whole gun. This is the 
the gun body that's back inside the robot, this part here, and then the short part gets uh, glued in, and this LED gets inserted from the back side and glued in. This main frame, once we assemble everything, will get glued inside inside the area of this body in here. This cam is what's going to make the uh, gun move back and forth, and this uh, T down here is going to be used for the clicker and the light flashing, and that's the little square end that goes into that coupler that I showed you down on the base earlier. So the assembly for that is starting to look like this. Puts the concentric wheel on the shaft. The shaft comes down. The little T cross clicker part there. This is just how I did it. You can do it any way you want. Single pivot screw on the back. So as the shaft turns, that'll move the gun back and forth. LED wires are coming out. Here's the assembly from the front. And there it is when it's uh, glued inside the body. And here it is, a view from here. So the next things I've put on is I used a small micro switch as my flasher for the LED. You could just use some metal contacts, you know. And then I put a, a, a bent piece of metal over here to work as a clicker that gets pulled back as this turns this way. Gets pulled back and then slams against the side of the body. That gives it the clicking sound. Here it is. Small piece of spring steel. There's a small 3D printed part that the spring steel is secured into that I could then glue to the bottom. There's a little micro switch that I was talking about. The square drive, when you assemble everything, will just get pushed right down on there and that'll give it the drive. Of course, you do have to make sure that your motor's running the right direction. You can't back rotate this. One, this would jam against this and this, so that wouldn't turn. And two, this would come around and hit your little micro switch and jam there too. So you have to make sure that you uh, design your stuff to run in a particular direction. And you've already seen the two units, so... That's the bulk of the project. Uh, let's get back to the beginning where you can see the bump and go drive unit. Right there. So, you can get those little drive units you know, off eBay or from AliExpress, three, four bucks, as long as you're willing to wait the six to eight weeks for them to arrive. Or you can just uh, build your own as I show you how to do in this uh, video here. Actually, there's a link in this video for the Thingiverse files right here. I think. Let's click it and see if the link works. Thingiverse is always so iffy. There we go. Yeah, it's got the, all the files to print to uh, to build a complete base and bump and go unit. So you can also make your own. If that's what you're into.